Now they can hear you. We're so gonna die. That's the first thing. Hello, chat. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh my. Hello, hello, everyone. Oh, Welcome. Mary, in. we were just talking about you. Thing. We were just talking about Mary. I hope everyone's having an absolutely fantastic Monday. Uh, so we will be here uh, on Mondays going forward, minus like you know the holidays coming up. So, but. We'll see. Uh, I hope everyone is doing good, doing good. All right. So we're going to do a quick recap of last week. No, you have not slept yet. I know you asked me this. No, you haven't slept yet. You are still severely wounded from the final fight. That's why I have not leveled, because you specifically said do not le I did. make sure that you would you all are, level before you sleep. You all are perfect. Minus one. <clears throat> uh, oh, that's fair. What I my brother do this time? I get that a lot, it's fine. Red, I swear to yes. God. Uh, so, you all made it outside of the mage tower with a very, uh, like, trying to get the pieces together, Kasula, as you guys get out of the tower. Um, and as you all leave the tower, you see the doors shut and seal behind you, so you cannot re-enter the tower for various reasons. Uh... What are those reasons I missed? I didn't realize that was going to happen. <laughs> Can't go back in. Just deal with it. Oh, okay. And so you all are currently standing outside of the tower in the snow, and it's cold. Uh, and that is where we actually kind of left off last week, trying to figure out where, where we wanted to go at this point. Because, um, so Kasula's standing there, and she says, okay, um... <sighs> Should we go back and talk to the guy, or like, should we just go straight back to the portal that brought us here? Uh, somebody said something about witches in the snow. I, I do not have the mental capacity to really unpack that right now. As long as we take a nap before we, we fight witches, I, I'm, I'm fine. But should. like, I don't think the witches are a good idea. That sounds awful. Yeah, that's. Like, that's where I lean, but I'm just, you know, if we have to go fight witches, I'd like to. That take sounds like an Abaddon idea. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I don't want to my dead mate. Oh. Oh, no. Good. Sorry. Okay. okay. Um, we, if, if we were, if we were good about it, we should probably see if, you know, what's his name didn't murder that guy's mom and speak to her body. I mean, no matter what we say or do, that's going to look bad on us. I think we shouldn't touch that with a 10-foot pole. Who's going to believe a bunch of weird people that showed up out of nowhere, talked to his mom, supposedly, that has not spoken to him in forever. We leave for an extended period of time. And he's probably figured out his mom's dead by now. Did you yeah, mention well, you're from we, Spark? We, we, yes. Yes. <sighs> That's going to come back and bite us in the ass later. But Wait, do you, do you, do I you don't... know someone out here, Kalua? No, I'm just saying, if you mentioned our guild's organization, we're pretty well known if they start searching for, like, yeah. people I'm from saying an organization. I'm saying instead of a whole bunch of people coming back, in an already suspicious situation, I believe we should go back and send a very, very nice flower basket and I... possibly an ambassador to say, hey, this is what actually happened. Somebody who's a lot better at explaining things than all of us and possibly the person that killed his mom. Do you have a damage control section in Spark? If we don't, we should. You mean like a... A publicity section? Yeah, yeah, yeah. PR. The PR. 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 Um, we usually that's me. That. So, you know. Oh, sorry. No. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Hey, PR may have killed your mom. Um, yeah. <laughs> yikes. Well, usually in these situations where something terrible may happen to something while we are doing our jobs, uh, we can compensate, obviously. But, um, do we want to do that now or come back kind of thing? I, I would um, need to at least see the location so that I can teleport 
food in the general area since I haven't actually been there before. Or, or, um, I'm all for, you know, trying to make things right. But, um, if Isaac's to be believed that everything's a little, um, not gonna happen and we're so far away from Spark, we could just leave. Yeah, my, my vote kind of is that we leave make sure we have a better idea what we're doing and then send some very nice people with some very nice stuff back to fix this problem because we are probably the most socially awkward group there is and the only person what are you talking team... about definitely mm -hmm. I, I think we do quite well I'll have you know, every single person has believed we're not bandits <laughs> on every single travel we've had. So. I'm just... <sighs> Your all's decision in the long run, if you wish to do it now or later. Either way, I will probably be getting in contact with that particular situation, so I probably at least need to know where the house is. So we may want to at least, you know, kind of swing by on our way back to the portal thingy that you mentioned before. Well, Sounds good. We'll swing by and say, hey, look, there's the house and then we'll leave. Yeah. I mean, if we're going to do that and we get spotted, I think we pretty much just need to automatically be like, hey, this is what happened. Well, so we'll let Kalua handle it. It's fine. That's her job. We don't wanna... It is yeah, my job. Away from her. The person that may have possibly killed the guy's mom. Not of your own free will. We literally, like... Yeah, maybe it's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. You're worrying. You're worrying. It'll be fine. Yeah, worrying's kept me alive. Yeah, but like about this specific thing, I mean, like worrying. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. I'm. Uh, let, let's just get this over with. Either way, I want to go home and get a beer. This has been a very long, long trip. Okay. Uh, does anybody remember how many days it is between us and the house thing? Couple. At least. Couple. Uh, yeah, it's more than zero. Few. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way. It was like the, two uh... or three, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. By the I'm way. Like my notes. Uh huh. It also freezes below freezing out here. Oh, good. As well, it was. Everything dies. Well, it has to be below freezing for snow, brother. No, it's... I mean. I mean real below freezing as in like oh death. yeah it gets de it actually gets deathly cold uh, there's been a lot of uh he besides me giving him shit um there actually have been reports of like animals freezing completely solid wasn't that potentially due to the guy being here though like i don't know i've lost track between the witches the giants the fucking the, the wolves and everything else and cold and Gasula being taken over. All I know is this is a royal shit show. Out of character, I caught that. Good catch. <laughs> hey, that's one of the very few times my brain is actually going to stop that. I've actually just decided I'm never going to talk about our boss again because uh -huh. I cannot separate those two names. That's really funny. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> No, it's just oh, like, right. Yeah, that was what her no, name was. Yeah, the, the dwarf boss, now. for some reason, I have stuck his name with a character from a completely separate campaign in my brain room. Oh, he uses no. to let go. So I'm just like, oh, yeah, you. You're talking about <laughs> Joe Beck? <laughs> yeah, Joe Beck, for some reason, my brain is stuck on Jormag, and it just will not stop. I see. It I... is infuriating. Names to start with J are very popular in D&D. Mm-hmm. Not that anybody in this party has a J name. Well, my next character would be as actually has a J name. Your theory is starting to fall apart, Kath. Yep. Why are you dying? <laughs> that is not part of the plan. <laughs> yeah, I know it's not part of the plan, but you seem to have other plans. Well, stop jumping in front of bullets, essentially. I don't know what you want from me. Stop, stop playing tank. It's my job. All right. Um... Uh, yes. we... It is definitely not your job. Yeah, that actually, it is my job to protect. No, no, no. Abaddon sounded like he was getting married. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, no, Abaddon, go, go sit in the corner. It's not your job. For what? To be, to be tank. Oh, no, I'm looking at my notes. I'm reading. Sorry. I just came to this conversation at a weird time. It's okay. Uh, about three days, Kath? Three, four days? 
Three days, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's get trekking. And then uh, was the portal, like, really close to that house or what? Uh, the portal was, like, if I remember correctly, it was at least a day away from it. Mm. Have a day, Lots day. Of time to travel. We need to be very careful, though, because last time we were out here, there was an ice worm skulking about. Yep. And nice frost one. giants. An ice worm? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, we, we, we kind of uh. like knocked the shit out of some ice giants and their animals. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was honestly, like, this trip was kind of a shit show. That was, that made me feel real good. Oh. Uh. Also, technically, the witches weren't bad. They invited me over for. A meal. Yeah, I'm I sure they know. did. Yet, you just happened to be the meal. Meet a good witch. I don't even know. Out of character, that hurts. They seemed friendly. Character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're real friendly. They offer you a resting place in their pot. Have you ever been told some crazy stories or something growing up? No, but uh, I could I could picture Abaddon stew. Yes, with my little to none meat on my bones. Yeah. Lovely. Yes, red. In my, like, since uh, forests and whatnots are my favorite terrains. Which you're not I in. Monsters. Yeah, hold, hold, hear me out. There's more to this. Okay. He's mentioning witches. Do I know anything like forest witches? I mean, there's the occasional hag that you've ran across. He might be talking about something, some snow variant of that. What all would I know about hags? Uh, they're magical. They like to, like, catch you in deals that you can't get out of that favor them kind of thing. Oh, God. They chose the perfect mark. It's Abaddon. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They, they really did. So, Abaddon, it sounds like what you're describing is a hag. Oh. And you in particular need to stay far away from them. All right. Doug, <laughs> trick people in the deals. Mm, not like this guy's trying to make a deal with everything he possibly could. Mm hmm. I hate to tell you this, buddy. You're like three steps away from running a motel up there. Honestly, fair. At this point, it should be. Are you... well, and everything we... else has been trying to get rid of something. Either way, let's get the hell out of here. here. It's cold as shit. Uh, uh, uh. This tea is really good. Ooh. Where did Everybody you get tea out here? Travel? He brings huh? tea with him. He did bring he walks around with a little, little flask. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've seen him make tea on the road. Uh -huh. I'm the supply man. You forget this a lot. I supply the food and the teas and the fun other things mm, you can snack on. Listen, it's the same no, thing. No, no, he's got you there. He does supply most of the food. The meats that's red, or the other things I supply. He, not, he does, and he does supply some things as in as in berries and stuff. I've seen him do it. All right, can we get going? Let's get going. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's, yeah. let's, 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 let's at least get to the. Uh, uh, let's at least get to the circle. All right. Um, so while you all are traveling for the day, uh, I need everyone to roll me perception checks, please. Uh, are we yes, in a forest my, now? My best stat. No. Damn it. Oh, we are no! all doing great. I perceive. <laughs> yeah, it rolled off the edge, dog. No, oh, I don't. Oh, oh, wow. That was a roller coaster there. Only a 218. Wow, I'm the one that actually saw stuff this time. This is really, yeah. how, do you, how do you roll it off the table digitally? No, no. Okay. I'm not sure. Okay. That's impressive. <laughs> all right, so while you all are traveling today, um, obviously you, you do your normal eight hours. You take a break in the middle for some food or whatever. Um, while you're traveling, um, you all are kind of exhausted from having to deal with that tower for however long you happen to be in there. You kind of lost track of time. It was a long tower and there was a lot of teleportation in there. Um, so while you guys are, are traveling about, um, Isaac, you notice that certain areas, the ground seems 
disturbed as if something had recently traveled under it. Um, but upon inspection, you've noticed that it has then rehardened. So it's been at least a whole day since there was movement here. Um, so the danger, whatever it is, you don't feel any shaking or anything, so it's probably no longer in the area. He will uh, tell the rest of the group that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's get back to the teleportation circle. All right. So it's going to take you a few days to get there. This is the end of your first night walking back to the house. You have two more days and then a trek to a portal. So, uh, here you are currently. You are uh, in a nice clearing. Don't question it if it looks familiar. Uh, mm, and you, <laughs> you have tonight to do whatever you wish. If you wish to do something this evening, uh, tell me what you know. What we're what we're doing as far as like, you know, watches or whatever. What are we doing? Uh, second watch. First. Third. One third watch, please. Okay. Alright. Uh what watch were you on, Red? First. Second. Oh, never mind. You're on Is that wrong? You're on first watch, Red? Yeah, I'll take first. Okay. Uh Elise will take first and Kasula will take second. And that is what we will do for today. Um, what are you guys doing for food? Are you eating rations or just kind of like chilling? What's the plan? I can, I can eat some cook. rations. I can cook. I, I, I'm gonna have to do rations. There's not a. There's not really a sustainable food source out here. Is it not, um... There isn't. Everything's kind of frozen. That's what he was talking about before. Everything is terrible. I don't know. It seemed to go okay. <laughs> I still have. <laughs> And I'm gonna I'm gonna just cook because I have stuff to cook. My measure of how things went meats. is how much diamond dust do I have left? <clears throat> you still have all your diamond dust left. You still have all my diamond dust. Went pretty good. Yeah. Can I cook? Kasula, are we good to cook in the tent or should I cook outside the tent? Uh I mean probably outside the tent. Tent doesn't really have, you know all right. a top you might you know, I'm not, I don't want to set up the so I don't, so I don't, uh, yeah, you know, I'd rather you not melt fire. my, I'm going to have a little campfire here, Kath. right here. Yep. I'm going to gather some sticks and stuff and then make a little campfire, dig a little hole in the snow. <clears throat> well, let me make it bigger. Hang on. There you go. There you go. Some food for us all. All right. So Abaddon, uh, this only works because you have a little bit of fire control, right? Like you can still like summon fire or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Normally, like starting fire in this environment would have been extremely difficult if you didn't have your spells. Mm hmm. So, just letting okay. you know, yep, you're the only good. reason you guys have a fire right now. Oh yeah, so yeah, I uh yeah I'll just kind of like you know yeah I'll do my fiery things on it. Okay. <laughs> Brain. Uh, um, I, I have salted meats that I have that I will cook in there. <clears throat> mhm. Mm and uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do that, and then like. And put some rash and stuff in there too. It's not gonna be like the most delightful thing, but I also like season it because I have some seasonings. Sure. Spices and stuff to make it taste a bit better. And then we'll do that. All right. What would uh what would everyone else like to do? So Abaddon's making some dinner. What's everyone else doing? I. <laughs> There's not a lot for me to do here. What kind of bag do you have, Red? A regular backpack. Okay. I study the ways of the blade. 
With your mace? Uh, yeah, I couldn't couldn't afford a magic bag, and I you know I don't carry a lot on me anyway. That's okay. Don't forget, there is a large something in your bag taking up a lot of space. Red. Oh, thank you. Uh, Abaddon, um, I'm going to kind of go up here. And I'm going to gather what I can for a fire of my own. And I'm going to ask Abaddon's help for lighting it. Because I need to make a sacrifice. Is your bag full of blood and leaking? No, it should be frozen by now. <laughs> Before you got outside, though, <laughs> I mean... Yeah. His bag may be red now, but... He... If there was flowing water nearby, you'd want to wash it. You might be able to use the snow to kind of rinse I'll... it. I got you, Red. I got Wawa for you. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, like... While I'm, you know, doing my first watch and stuff, I'll, like, take apart my bag and, like, clean it and get my stuff reorganized. Mm. All right, so, Abaddon, are you going to help Red with his ritual? Are you muted, Red? Uh, Abaddon? Yes. <laughs> uh, I will help him light his fire, yes. Okay. So, Red, you take however much time you need to do that, and Abaddon will assist you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Isaac. Uh, we'll that e. Isaac and Dongrave, sir. Anything you yeah. guys need or want to do? Um, I will be going to bed. <laughs> the, he, you see Isaac kind of like looking over a few things. He goes, yeah, I, I think I'll put it through that. <laughs> and he's like, I'm, he's like, he's going to go to bed. You are wounded. Mm -hmm. Still. <laughs> a little bit. A little a bit. Hours. Okay. Did you say you got a few owies? I do. <laughs> Wonderful. Don't just judge me. I'm judging you. It's fine, though. You have judged to be good. Alright. Well, then. Uh, Abaddon, you get your meal situated. Red, you get your sacrifice finished. Isaac will go to bed. Uh, Elise was first watch, that's right, so Kasula will go to bed once everything, like, food has been consumed. Abaddon, you've got all your food and stuff together, so... Mm -hmm. uh, it is time for first watch, then. So after you have consumed thy food and or tea, uh, you may go to sleep. Yes. And then Red, it is just you and Elise for first watch. Alright, are we just, are we out here by the fire? She was gonna be by the fire, yes. Abaddon, I moved yeah. you into the tent. Would you be in the tent? Well, after I make food, yes. Okay. Just want to make sure you're not sleeping in the snow like some silly person. No, definitely not. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So, Red, Elise. Uh, are you doing anything specific during your thingamajiggle? Uh, cleaning my backpack out. <laughs> Elise will, um, like... Yeah. She 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 watches you and she's like, hmm. Wish I could help you with that. I don't have that magical cleaning spell though. I don't either. I was just gonna, you know, use some of the snow, do some something like that. Does your little soapstone thing work on clothes? That's a good question. I never checked. That's a really that's a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I may have forgotten that I had that. Where is my clip? Uh, <laughs> Elise says, oh, yeah. Why don't you use it? And you're like, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm just like scrubbing my backpack. Just holy shit. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it says garments and person. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. I mean, a backpack is cloth. Why don't you try it? I just hold the stone to my backpack. All right. Roll me a percentile. Oh. Oh, no. You're about to break your backpack. I'd be so upset. I have 17. So, I mean, it takes you a while. But because the stone is magical, 
you are able to eventually get most of it off of it. Uh, it's still stained a little bit, um, so it didn't work perfectly as how you thought it would be, but it's pretty good, yeah. As long as it doesn't smell, it doesn't have to look pretty. Yeah. You got a nice, like, blood-stained backpack now. It's aesthetic. Yeah, it's, um, actually... You, you're actually very on the nose about that, Elise. Yeah. Maelor is a blood god, so yeah. Oh, there you go. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so... Despite all the awful things that happened, I actually had a really good time here. I... I mean, it's I. It's okay if you can't say the same. I didn't have a bad time. <laughs> you know, I did totally dodge that troll's all of their sneak attacks. I forgot about that. I did yeah, do that. That. Was, um, that was honestly really badass. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I think uh, some god may have been looking down on me, you know. Ultra instinct Elise. <laughs> hey, you never know. I. I good is quite a, just a straight up skill. Yeah, see, I'm not very good at that normally. Decks of negative one, but you know, it was pretty good. Um, but yeah, what are you gonna do when we get back home? That's a really good question. I hadn't really thought that far ahead. Yeah, I feel I guess it depends on how much trouble we're in. Well, I, we're not going to be in trouble. I'm sure Kasula will smooth it all over. This can't be the first time somebody was possessed by something that we brought back. We mess with a lot of relics. God, how many... How much bad things have we brought back? <laughs> I mean, that's why we usually give them to Kasula first. It's just we probably br brought back something a little too powerful. So that necromancer unfriend of uh of our cleric is uh you know Don Graves not it's, you know, it's not good. It's not good. Thanks for that by the way. Uh, the only what? thing I'm bringing back from this whole trip is uh one of the necklaces I got off of the fire the frost giant. Yeah. I'll make it into a nice belt. I doubt the tower would have let us take anything out. Yeah, it's a shame. You know, it did have that room full of mimics, so literally none of the treasure was collectible. Which, I'm not entirely sure if we the footprints in the golem room, we never found where those went. Eh. Well, it didn't attack us, so I'm sure it's probably fine. Right? I mean, yeah, I guess. Hmm. We never did see those Fae again, either. That might be for the best. Yeah. I don't, uh... No, nah, there's things I like to tread carefully around. I will say, though, it's positive we didn't blow it up this time. Yeah? You, I guess we have a bit of reputation. A little bit, smidge. But I that's would say okay. that I will try working on that, but I am not prepared to make a promise. I don't know if I can keep. Just don't break magical items, and you're probably fine. I mean, sometimes they need to be broken. Okay, but make sure there's not other ones nearby to cause a chain reaction. I promise only to try. Fair enough, fair enough. So is your uh, family going to be there when we get back? Why would they be there when we get back? I thought you you wrote them to come visit. Why would I write them to come visit? I don't know. Isaac said you wrote your family to come visit. No, I just, I write my family. I love my family. You don't write your family? Um, you have people you grew up with, like a mentor or something, right? 
Yeah, I don't, I don't write them. Well, why not? I'm sure they miss you. Oh, oh no. Would they? Why not? I mean, it's a dangerous life. Yeah, but I mean, if you if you raise someone for a period of time, they grow affectionate towards you. So, you know, you've been out of the nest for how long? Um, it's been a while. Yeah, so give them a right. You never know. And then at least, you know, you've tried. You've made the effort. So, you know. And then if they write you back, it's only positive. I, I guess I could try that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I kind of left with the, th the thought that I just wouldn't see any of them again. Hmm. Well, you're still kicking. So maybe just give them a heads up like, hey, I'm here. How y'all doing? I've been doing this, this, and this, you know? Tell them a little bit about yourself. They probably are interested in that, right? I, I don't know. I wasn't, like, the most liked there. Eh. Anybody who raises another person gets affectionate towards them. I'm sure your, you know, your caretaker was affectionate towards you at least, right? Um, Selenia mostly was disappointed because I couldn't shoot. Well, you um, seem to be doing just fine now. Yeah, now, but... Uh, she was a she was a master. So she had very high standards. Well, you know, masters should know that students aren't perfect right off the bat. It takes a lot of practice to get as good as that. She was probably just hard on you because, you know, she wanted you to be the best you could be. Yeah, I think that's why Kielthar kind of taught me the two weapons. Mm -hmm. Each of the three fighting styles that we learned there are branches of uh, Maelor's combat. The archer represents the range of his tail. Uh, the two weapons in your hands represent the claws that he bears. And the polearm masters, they represent the long reach of his fangs. Interesting. I mean, that's cool. Yeah. It's, Does it's... your temple teach you fighting? Uh, so, uh, I follow Lathander. Uh, he's kind of the deity of, you know, creativity and birth and renewal and self-perfection, vitality. It's not really a bloody god, you know. Uh-oh. But it's cool, you know, as long as you are happy with your choices. I am. Yeah. I, I hope to think that uh, I've been a good disciple. I have felt his presence for a long time, even out here away from the, the guild. Mm -hmm. He did lead us to that demon thing to take care of. Yes, he did. I just hope he saw me bring two giants to their knees. I mean, you did do a ritual for that, right? Well, that was a troll head, which still a giant. Yeah. I couldn't complete the entire ritual because all I have was the head. Eh, that's fair. I'm sure they saw it. Hopefully. Gods are kind of like, you know, all over the place all the time. All of them? Well, I mean, for the most part. Huh. Theoretically. Obviously, we don't know the minds of gods or whatnot, right? But, like, like when we bless each other during combat, the god gives us bonuses, you know, essentially. He likes, oh, there you get a little, you know, move your sword a little to the left, you know, to make a better hit or something. So they're always nearby. I suppose that's comforting. Yeah. I... I... I'm not entirely sure if I'm okay with uh, Maelor seeing me drop my mace as many times as I have. But if he's there for every other part, I think I'm, I'm okay. We should get you a strap. See, yeah, I, that's, uh, I was going to look into that. Yeah. Then you wouldn't drop it as much. 
Yeah, but there's that also comes with its own risk. Like if an enemy gets a hold of your weapon, you should drop it and pull another one out. Ah. And if it's strapped to my arm, I can't do that. What if you have it on like a snap mechanism? Like a bungee. Or a button. Oh. I'll probably talk to Isaac and think of something. Yeah. That way you can easily just go click when you don't want it on there, you know. With your other hand or something. No, it's just an idea. It's something to think about. Especially with uh, looking at a new weapon when I get back. It's a really nice dagger. You want a dagger? Yeah, something that I can conceal. Why would you want to conceal a weapon? Well... It's less... Okay, concealing is probably the wrong word. It's small, so I can maneuver it if I ever get, like, swallowed by something. Ah. That does happen to you a lot, yeah. It's happened more than once, and I, it, you only really takes once for you to start planning for that not to happen again. Yeah, you know, stop jumping into things' mouths or something. So I didn't jump in. It's fair. It just kind of ate me. Yeah. I guess that technically means I'm poisonous. I don't think that's how that works. Well, everything that's ate me has died. Not by you, though. I certainly helped. Okay, but that doesn't mean you're... If by that record, you know, all of us are poisonous because everyone in this party's killed something. Yeah, but not everybody in this party has been eaten. I think that just means you're dangerous, not so much poisonous. You might be on to something. <laughs> Alright, well it is getting near to the end of our shift. Go ahead and give me a perception roll, says God. Yes, Lord! <laughs> Is this a forest? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dang. Oh, nice. So while you and Elise were chit-chatting and w uh, watching and making sure your friends are sleeping soundly, um, you don't really notice anything at all. There's no animal sounds. There's no bug sounds. It's, it's very, very quiet. And you know that with the snow and everything, you're actually able to hear a little farther because there's less things for sound to bounce off of. So with it being so eerily quiet, there is really nothing nearby. Mm. Good job. All right, your shift is over. Time for second shift. Word. All right, who's in second shift? Wake up. I'm waking up. Elise is going to wake Kasula. Oh. While shift. I'm while I'm uh, coming into the tent, I want to set up my arrow trap. Okay. I think. Mark it up. Yep. I got one here. I I said I've I've got one here. <laughs> Do you need assistance? Here. Okay. I've got one here. Uh huh. Here. Okay. Noted. All right, so Kasula and Isaac will uh will uh leave the tent probably. Do you want to leave the tent, Isaac? Uh, yeah, I'll leave the tent. You know, there's a little fire out here. I'll move you since you're tired. <laughs> rubble, 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 rubble. <laughs> There you go. So you and Kasula are currently around the campfire. She looks a little groggy and tired and just severely drained. Uh, obviously, she hasn't had a good night's rest since the possession. So, you know, you're looking at bags under the eyes. Very annoyed, not at you, but a very annoyed Kasula. You look like you slept a lot better when you were possessed. 
Wow, you know, it's interesting <laughs> how somebody taking something that doesn't belong to you, you can just use it as you wish. God, I don't even know what I ate. Um, Isaac's gonna actually think for a second. Think, does he remember what she ate? Like, I mean, she ate them? what you guys ate for the most part. Oh, he just ate some stuff that we normally had. I mean, wasn't too crazy. I mean, I am a vegetarian. I didn't eat any meat, did I? Mm. <laughs> I think back. Did she eat? Yeah, she totally I ate meat. Floor. I say I distinctly um, remember her eating meat. I'm gonna have to break this real bad to you. Yeah, uh -huh. you, you took a break on your vegetarian I see. life there for a second. Well, thank you for telling me. I mean, I. I was just going to mess with you, but after you said that, I never knew that you were vegetarian, so... That's okay. I'm not vegetarian. I was just messing with you. Oh, okay. I don't feel bad about you eating that squirrel, then. Squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> it just falls over in the snow. Yeah. Uh, you two are being very loud and laughing, and everybody in the tent's mildly annoyed by the noise you're making. Good. Uh, but yeah, so you guys are chit-chatting. Is there anything you wish to bring up during your shift? Uh. Shit. I can't even imagine what we're going to have to go back and go through. With Joe Beck? Yeah, with the entire, I mean, we were gone. There's probably, this is, surely wasn't sanctioned. So that means that we're, they probably had to have another team cover us. Well, I don't know how long I was out. How long were you guys in the hall from when you got back from your last job? Oh, uh, I remember we had a couple of days off. Well, usually you have like a, a couple weeks in between jobs. So like, I doubt anybody required you to do anything right away. Well, so. you, you actually gave us the choice to do this job. Did I do that though? Well, I mean, I'm not saying you, you, but, you know, your person gave actually gave us the choice to do the job. I'd be surprised if he didn't, if there wasn't some real jobs mixed in there. I don't know. I'll have to look. Maybe all of the jobs would have led you here anyway. What were the other jobs? Uh, that I don't remember. Elise is usually the one that keeps notes on things. Yeah, because I bet you it was all probably just a ruse to get you here no matter what. Probably. Honestly, it was pretty tricky because I pick I picked this job just because I wanted to go hang out with you and go on an adventure with you because you looked like you were really happy to to get out of the out of the office and get into the field for a little bit. I'm sure they were really happy. I mean, yeah. Oh. I mean, don't get me wrong, going out in the field is cool and all that, but I did that when I was younger, and when I was on a team, and now I'm just supposed to be the magic checker. Yeah. And the PR department. And the PR department. Uh, I, I was kind of <laughs> hoping we'd find some really cool shit that you'd be all excited about and get to be all, you know, bookworm about. I mean, we did bad. find the thing with the crystal. Yeah, and then we also have uh, this thing. And, like, Isaac opens his bag up, and he, like, points it over to her so she can look at it. Like, I don't want to bring it out because it's, like, really cold out here. What is it? It is the, uh, the bulb for the plant. Oh, cool. What's that? Uh, well, it apparently, uh, it's an ancient plant. Huh. That we found inside there. It was encased in some crystal and a slime. That is and interesting. Gave off the the flower actually gave off heat. Hmm. Huh. That would be interesting if we could cultivate that and sell it to the northern regions. Might be able to make yeah, a profit. And I got some. Like he digs around here. Like I guess he pulls out a little bit of like broken amethyst from the inside the cave. I got this too. Fair. There now, were some gems inside. not as much. There were some marbles inside we needed, so we had to smash it up. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, now, I mean, this isn't an actual job, so no, I know. Like none of this, we've 
going to get to do anything good. I'm probably just going to give the, the bulb to you and, yeah. you know. Help I will still make over. sure the guild compensates everyone for this situation. Obviously, none of this was your fault. So you will be compensated. I Don't worry it. about that. Not really worried about that. I just... I don't like wasting a whole bunch of resources and putting ourselves in danger for nothing. I mean, it's nothing for nothing. We did get four more crystal thingies, so... This is true. We got the, the big crystal and three little crystals. Yeah. So I count that as a bonus. Yeah. Now maybe almost everyone in your party can carry them with you while you're out traveling, or we can spread them between the teams, you know? Yeah, or if we find any more of those... Ah, oh, shit. Oh? How far do you remember back? Uh, I was looking through the items you all gave me the last time. Okay. Do you remember the books? I remember you did give me a bunch of books. I had not had a chance to look through them. Okay. What? Those books have very detailed information on how to make the exploding gobble. I'm going to make those exploding golems. Ah. Yes, yeah, so it turns out our frenemy has had a more than enough time of reading those, enough to actually, for us to actually make one. Hmm. I brought those books back specifically so the guild could, t so the guild could read through them and we would be able to dismember these things a lot easier. Now we just gave them the go. We gave them basically the guy the how to to make them even better. So yeah, we may be in a problem with more sophisticated undead now. Well, I'm sure it's nothing you all can't handle. A little bit of fire, and they just blow right up, right? Yeah, but there's also some intelligent ones. Mm. Intelligent enough to actually have war stories with me. Interesting. We're talking like full-blown personalities, and this last one, we were able to put a ghost inside one. Wait, what? Yeah. Where? In the tower. In the tower? In the tower. Are you sure that wasn't just a trick of the tower? No, you built it. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, you got your hands all up in there. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, good. Good. You were, you were arm deep. Gross. I know. And then uh, we used electricity to uh, pass the ghost that was the so-called tutor. And he, he went inside it. And we made a sentient being. Ah. Uh, so you're telling me that they can now... Steal souls and put them inside of these golems. I'm telling you what I know. If that's what you put together, that's what you put together. Oh, good. There is a spell where, essentially, you can trap people's souls in, like, an object kind of thing. I suppose it could be a variation of that spell. I'll I'm have not. to research it when I get home. And I, I'm most assuredly assured that we have not dealt with something like mass undead and people disappearing in a certain town and things like that, right? I, not in Wolverfly. No, definitely the place that you sent us, the place you sent us with Callum Rose, he had a whole thing going on about just people disappearing a lot. Well, if that's true, then he would have had those books before you all came back. Yeah, well, we didn't give them there because we stole them from the place that had the that had the uh, the bad people in it. Fair. So he didn't have that bad call on our part. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Like I said before, I was thinking more along the lines of our people having it and our town being more prepared than others. 
Hopefully they're still there when we get back. Yeah, hopefully a lot of your shit's still there when we get back. He could have robbed you blind. How many days was it? You said a couple days? <clears throat> oh, yeah, we were there for a little bit. Mm. He could have wiped you out completely. Well, mm -hmm. that would have been difficult because the guild does keep track of everything coming and going. Everything's cataloged and stuff, so. Yeah, but isn't it like you? No, there's a secondary system in place that I actually trade through, so we'll just take inventory when I get back. All right. I mean, if nothing else, it's probably just the shit that was in your room. It's possible. I mean, it's not like you had things that could possibly be very bad in your room. You wouldn't be that kind of person. Yeah. <laughs> he just blank stares and looks at her. I'm trying to think. Yeah. Could you could you please stop keeping doomsday devices in your room, please? I don't remember if it was in my room or not, okay? I don't remember. It's only, you know, a if something super, super bad happens, you know, like a demon or something's attacking the town and we got to take it out with us kind of situation, you know? Oh, uh, yeah, he said something about that with an item. A really bad necrotic item. I thought it was just the orb that he had, but that actually matches up to something he said he was he was experimenting with. That uh, if it took a whole bunch of necrotic energy, it could summon a demon. Well, he didn't take anything with him, so everything is still in my bag, and there's that device is not in my bag. Okay, cool. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check, Isaac. Did a really good one earlier, so it's going to be horrible now. Thirteen. While you all were talking loudly and laughing loudly, um, you didn't really notice anything in the surrounding area. It's all been pretty quiet for about the evening. Um, you did notice Red set up his traps and everything, and they haven't triggered, so... You're you're pretty yeah. fine for your shift, and your shift does come to a close, and it is time for third shift. And Kasula will end with, well, when we get back, you know, you let me know if there's anything specific you want, and I'll see if we can make it happen. I appreciate it. Kasula will come back into the tent and uh, say, Hey, Dawn Grave. Ah, yes, Kalua. It is, uh, it is third shift. Who was on third shift? It was me and Abaddon. Uh, okay. Do we know if Red put down air traps or not? Well, you can see them. In the pure oh, white Oh, are they snow. visible? Okay, I thought... Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, basically, you would see an arrow sticking out of the ground, fletchings up. Well, I'm still muted. I just want to make sure there wasn't just, like, arrows flying across and think, Oh, no, someone missed us! Something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I still just walk over, like, one to hand Abaddon's arm and start shaking. They're like, Abaddon, your turn! Mm. Like, yeah, roughly all right, shaking. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm awake. I'm awake, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, just kind of pushes him a little bit, rolls him out of the bed. Put on my like cloak and stuff, and we'll head out the head out the tent. Alright, it is. Uh, you all did get a full eight hours rest. <laughs> yes. So you can rest oh. up if you wish. And level up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not you though. Oh, nope. you know. I can't do that. Mm. Alright, so you guys are on your shift. What do you mm -hmm. do? I contemplate the teachings of Anubis. Mm. Ah, yes. Are we, are we making rations again today, Abaddon? Old, old brekkie rations? I mean, we could, yes, at some point. I don't have a lot of rations left on my part. Do you have any rations? How many, how many rations do you have left? Because I have, like, a pouch. At least one. At least Good. one rations. Any more? Um, 
I'm sorry, my bag is just a real mess, and I'm only finding one one set of rations. So far. Ah, all right, all right. Well, I suppose I could throw mine in then first, and then you could throw yours in next, or whichever way that works. We could just, you know, let's let's mm. do. Do we have enough to feed everybody? And yeah, I still have some more meat. Wait, and I have else. an idea. I have an idea. Give me a few minutes with Anubis, and then I will I will see if I can figure something out. All right. Dongrave is currently in a trance right now, so Abaddon. Yeah. <laughs> Man, literally um, just went tag your it. Abaddon will, uh, I guess then, since that's a thing, um, I'm going to pull out my little ocarina that I have. Okay. My little instrument. I'm going to just kind of like softly play a little tune while I'm waiting. Have you ever played an ocarina before? Yes. You can't really Good play practicing. it super softly. Actually, you're right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna look at it then. Okay. <laughs> I have also, I've also played an ocarina, and yeah, they're is, not very quiet. It is very difficult to play that instrument quietly. It very much is. I also played an ocarina. I'd go as far as say it's impossible to play. It quietly. <laughs> yeah. There are there are different iterations of an ocarina. The uh -huh. bigger ones are really hard to play it quiet, but there are like hand ones uh -huh. that are easier to play quiet. <laughs> but fair, fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll just kind of look at it a bit, and then we'll like, I don't know. Uh, Don Grave snapped out of his uh, his, his trance-like state, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, and then I cast Create Food and Water. Oh, shit. Mm. Uh, just for the occasion. Is? Now we don't have to use our rations. It's not going to be the tastiest food, but... That's all right. I got spices, and I have um, the special spices, technically, still. I create 45 pounds of food, and I guess <laughs> 30 gallons of water. <laughs> Wow. What do you put the water in? Um, away from us. Why? <laughs> Just hold them down and create water. On and I guess if we have, I might as well take the rest of the 45 pounds of food in a bag of holding or something we can eat on it throughout the day. It lasts for a day. Ah! What oh. was that? Nothing. Don't worry about oh, no. it. <laughs> Don <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about this. It never happened. Mm hmm So hey, food sorted. We're gonna it'll probably Perfect. need some spicing up though. Yes, of course. I do have my, my my mystery spice bags, so I don't know what it'll come up tasting like, but I'm gonna use those. Seeing as, you know. It, you know, we're traveling in the frozen wasteland and last time they didn't really go too well for us. So might as well use something that might give us a bit of a up Upper hand, in a sense, not really, but you know, we'll do that. So I'll I'll cook the food, Kath. Sure. And stuff. I'll put in the mystery spice. Sure. In there. The mystery spice being the spice that gives you temporary hit points, right? Yes. Okie dokie. That is factually correct. You'll obviously cook it, you know, once everyone's closer to waking up, right? Or is yeah, it just gonna... closer to the time, yeah. Okay. Plus, yeah, it's probably I'll still like... freezing outside, so none of it's going to spoil, not that it matters, because it only lasts for a day. Yeah, you know, I'll, like, I'll put a, like, I'll start simmering it, you know, kind of like a stew. Yeah. It kind of makes, start, start the base of, like, a stew, you know, just simmer it, like, low coals. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, I have a banana. I forgot I have food. You have a banana? Yeah, there's probably a banana in the pile somewhere. No, I'm talking about IRL, Kath. I, there is I definitely a banana in the pile eat. now. Uh huh. Just a, it turns Hopefully, out a whole it's bunch. All bananas. <laughs> it's just it's a all. <laughs> and then see, it cuts to Donkey Kong being real upset about his cave being empty again. <laughs> <laughs> Where's all my bananas? <laughs> my banana. Secretly, Don gave just summoning food from other dimensions. <laughs> we don't know. Some poor family setting down to eat and just Don Gray poofs. Just like dinner. a whole Christmas dinner. And all of a sudden, there's, everything's gone. It smells awesome. There's a turkey. 
somewhere in the world there's a sad child that day. <laughs> uh-huh. Gongrave, how did you think of the tower? What? How did I think of the tower? Sure. Uh, those are the words you said, right? I'm still waking up, yes. No, I'm just thinking... Okay, it's fine. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I, I thought, aside from the uh, thrilling conclusion where there was evil afoot, I thought it was a pretty okay time. Except for those stakes. That that stake floor was not, not a good floor. Stake floor? Yeah, where we had this... Oh, that's right. You weren't here for that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, the one with the... With a dining table. Yeah, the dining table, we all just seasoned oh, our steaks yes, perfectly, yes. otherwise we died, and then our steaks were rotten, and it was bad. Mm. The teleporty floor was pretty cool, too. Yeah, Did you have a I'd... favorite floor? Um, No. I can only assume it. your favorite floor would not be, like, the second, the third to last floor, because that one's... Yeah, that one was my... No. Mess you up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Very much just like that floor. I don't know. They're all pretty. Actually, honestly, the floor with the little, um, the fairy. That was cool. I've never mm -hmm. seen a fairy before. Yeah, that was quite fun. Enjoyed that very much. I don't know. It was an odd experience, to say the least. It was. It was. You know, experiences make the person, I guess, right? It, not wrong, yes. Learn things, understand things more. I think we all learned, well, at least I learned that items can be infused in somebody's body and then put into somebody else's body, so that's Yeah, fine. that was that was a, a neat... That, that was neat, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little concerning, you know, but let's, let's just... Hopefully we can figure out a way to keep an eye out for that in the future, instead of just... Because I feel like we were all a little cautious about Kahlua the whole time, but we couldn't quite put our finger on what was going wrong. You're not wrong. I think we need to come up with some sort of code word that only the real us knows. True. I feel a bit more rejuvenated this morning for some reason. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel I feel more in tune with the powers of Anubis today for some reason. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But I'm definitely not opposed to it. Understandable. You are a whole level stronger. Mm -hmm. We are, aren't we? Yes. All right. Uh, if you guys have ran out of things to talk about, go ahead and give me perception mm -hmm. rolls for your shift. I perceive. No, I somehow perceived. Come on, Donnie. <laughs> so, while you all were chatting there, Abaddon, you did pull out your ocarina, look at it, and go, mm, not today, and put it back away. Um, It's been extremely quiet. Like, oddly quiet. Um, There haven't been, like any footsteps there haven't been any bugs animals nothing nearby obviously it was night ish time but now that it's getting to be day there's still nothing there's no birds in the sky there's there's like a complete void of animal life from what you can tell is that how things were prior to tower time i mean there were like wolves and stuff before but weren't they like trained wolves for the giants that were going across? That is correct, yes. So there wasn't like a whole lot of wildlife prior to going to the tower, so like nothing's changed, right? No, not that you can tell. It's just been a very quiet evening. Except it's morning now, so. Morning, yes. But nothing, nothing has changed is the main point of what you just said, yes. Gotcha. What did it, Do we have any indication if it's still got deathly cold it did not get deathly cold last night nice nice hopefully that was because of us um other than that you guys uh the eight hours for everyone else kind of rolls around everyone can hit that long rest button and wake up refreshed and one level higher 
We have officially, as a party, reached the double digits. Level 10. Woo! I kept thinking we were at 11. Uh, no, no. Nope. <laughs> I set my HP when I hit long rest and put it back to where to the old one. It's okay. You know what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know what it's supposed to be right now. All right. Everybody, wake up. Abaddon has a delicious smelling breakfast, by the way, thanks to Don Grave. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, uh, and Abaddon? And... Did, I, did I not say Abaddon? I don't know. I must have no. said something. I'm no, sure. it was just thanks Don to Don Grave. Grave. Oh, uh, <laughs> 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 well, okay. To be fair, she said Abaddon made a delicious. The delicious food. That's why I thought she said. But so it was kind of like in between. That's, that's what I so thought I said. Yeah. No, no, you're good. I was like, I was pretty sure I said the stuff and the things. Isaac, you want me to move your body closer to the fire? Yeah. Um. Actually, before you do that, you'll see Isaac get up and looks like he's kind of working on a rune. Hmm. And then uh, when he's done, he'll come over to hang out with you guys. Okay. Red, what you doing, buddy? I stand up, <clears throat> get my stretch in, grab my stuff, head outside. Oh. Can I move, please? Can oh, you not gosh. move? Here, let me yes. help you. How about now? There you go. Oh. There you go. Okay. So you all are currently around the nice fire. Isaac, you're still damaged. Did you take a long rest? I'm uh, working on putting all my stuff together at the moment. Okay. It's fine. Sorry, mm -hmm. everybody. I <laughs> everybody who eats the stew gets to roll a d12 plus one, and that's temporary hit points that you get for the day. For the day. Well, 12 hours, but it's basically the day. Right. Ooh. Let's go. So you get 13 red. Dang. Nice. Until your next long wow. rest, those are your temporary hit points. Basically, yeah. Oh, it's doing that thing again. What thing? The average instead of doing the max. Oh, no. So instead of 160 HP, it's giving me 150. I see. Curse you. Curse you? Oh, interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Does anybody have any questions about the stuff before we continue further? Or are you all Gucci? There we go. I'll overrid it. I think I'm pretty good. I think. Do you do anything? I don't think so. Okay. Also, I realized that Isaac essentially has double my HP. I'm the tank. <laughs> he does do the stuff and the things, yes. Still. My HP won't stay changed. Mm. Oh, you shouldn't accept on it? Or do you have an override of an HP? It should be there. Let's try a different way. That hit this. Does it stay? Okay, there it goes. It stayed. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> uh, did any of my arrow traps go off? No, you got all your arrows back without issue. Oh my goodness. That's really good because I'm running out of those. <laughs> Well. You're gonna have everything. You're gonna have to get nets. You're gonna, you have to get a new no. I still pick. have nope. I still have my net. You got to get a new lock pick. Oh. I would like to warn everybody about the uh, big patch of ice off to the side where my thirty gallons of water froze. 
Yes, there is a large just, patch of ice over there. Just so nobody slips on it. Just, when I made food this morning, it came with water, and I didn't really have anything to put it in, so I chose the ground. All right. So you all eat up, and you get all your stuff together. And it's a, it's a brisk morning. Um, still kind of cold, but it's not snowing today at the very least. Um, so we're going to keep heading on towards the guy's house with everything. Um, so go ahead, and while we're traveling, is there anything you all want to specifically do? Anything you're looking for, or are we just straight traveling today? I'm just worried about traveling. Yeah, mm -hmm. just traveling. Okay. Um, if you all are just going to be doing the straight travel today, please give me perception checks as you all are traveling. Let me know. Excuse me. Let me know. I ain't seen shit during the day. Isaac's on oh. top of it. I've been on top of it for two days oh. now. Oh, Abaddon, that was almost a 20. I saw that. Yeah, I'm not seeing nothing, dude. <laughs> Uh, so, a little bit of the same as yesterday. Everything is still kind of covered in ice. Um, Isaac, you, as you're traveling closer to the cottage, um, you still don't see, like, those those underground tracks from before are kind of gone now. Like, this area it seems to have been recently covered in snow, but there's not really a lot of foot traffic, essentially, around here. So, um, it's another quiet day of travel. Nothing crazy happening. It does start to snow once you all are getting to the next campsite. Um, and this will be the end of day two for you all to get back to the campsite. You have two more days of travel. Um, so one more full day will get you to rest and then you'll be able to see the cabin and get back to the teleport thing on the fourth day. And you'll be able to be home probably unless bad things happen on the end of the fourth day. Akasula. Yes. Do you think you could wrap this up nicely if we did go talk to them? Uh, it's possible. Without knowing more of what actually transpired, uh, they may come at us aggressively, but... I mean, that's a I good can... way to get put down. I think any of us can take them. Well, we don't want to hurt innocents, you know? That's not what we're here for. No, that's... I'm not saying I'm here to hurt innocents. I'm saying that they're going to attack us. He uh -huh. really should rethink that. Mm. Still. I mean, I, I could always come with if you needed somebody else. Yeah, I mean... Why don't you go to the talking part? Maybe I shouldn't uh, be the talker. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be with you on that one, bud. I'm more of a... I, I put the fear of Anubis in somebody, not a smooth things over kind of guy. No, you start praying to Anubis? No. He was just the only one I really know. I still pray to my axe. Anubis is pretty cool. What was that, Alex? <laughs> what was what? Uh, okay, so you all are chilling. Uh, you get to your second campsite for the day. Uh, are we doing the same watch rotation, or are you yeah. gonna do a different one? I'm good with I that could, one. I could, I could do different if somebody wants change with me, but that's, that's up to somebody else. That's fair. What were you? You were third? Mm-hmm. Is Reds here? I'm here. Do you want to go to third shift? I'll... Mm, he doesn't yeah. want to go to third shift. He's been there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Red was what, first? Sorry, you, yeah. sent, me, you sent me down mm -hmm. to just a whole... 
a whole list of factory jobs when he said that. <laughs> Sorry. PTSD hit him hard. Just, uh, Oops. <laughs> My bad. Uh, not particularly. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do third. It's fine. Mm. Is first shift spoken for you? No. All right, put me on first shift. Okay. Well, that would mean Abaddon and Don Graver now first shift. No way, it's swap, probably. <laughs> Perfect. And then Isaac and Kasula are second shift, and then Red and Elise are third shift. So you just kind of like switch the two on the ends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is fair. Okay. Well, it is, uh, you guys consume whatever you wish to consume for dinner. And then Probably we'll do our shifts. Pounds of food. You did, if you brought that with you, you did still have that, yeah? Oh, that was the plan. Just eat on it throughout the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. All right, first shift. Night, everybody. Hey, Good night. Good night. Oops. <clears throat> Oops. 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 Cast breaking things. Nope, it's fine. I fixed it. Wow. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, first shift. First shift. Red, did you put your arrow trap up? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to leave them where you put same, them the last Same places. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <sighs> Second night. Nothing's mm -hmm. been happening. All right. Aaron, you got any cool, like, battle techniques we could do together? Like, combo moves? Um, I don't know. That'd be cool, right? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what be, we yeah. could do, but maybe we can figure out something. As the, I mean, as I do the... have kind of something I could do. As Isaac likes to put it, since we are the wiggle fingers of the party. Exactly. I mean, Damn dude, turn around for a second, Don Grave. Okay. <laughs> um, cast, I would like to cast Disguise Self and turn into Don Grave. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. I can do this, actually. Hold on. <laughs> wait. No. That's wrong. Uh, wait. Wait. Hang on. Uh, the spell is casting. Uh, oh, holding? I'm still turned around. I haven't been told to turn back around. Could be hours. I don't know. Oh, that is the wrong one. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go with it. There you go. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's his portrait. I grabbed the wrong image. My bad. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> if, if you want to fix it, careful. I'm, I'm like, working oh, on it. Uh, yeah, it's okay, just I'll, I'll we'll Amazon go with, standing we'll go with this first. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Summon cardboard jutsu. <laughs> Oops, my bad. That was that was the wrong avatar. Right now, all I can think about is just Abaddon standing there, but he has a cardboard cut out of Donnie. <laughs> That's this guy's self. He's like, hang on, hang on, I got this, and he draws something really fast. Okay. Uh, how how big are you, Don Grave, for size? Like like height size? At least six. Hang on, let me find it. Uh, four seven. Okay, I will I will get closer to his size, but I'll be about five inches taller than you. Okay. Five or six inches taller because I can slightly taller. There slightly you go. taller. Yes. Yes. There you go. Uh hold on. Let me read the, the spell. I don't know if I can mimic your voice. Uh huh. Sorry, I got distracted by something. What did you say? I'm so sorry. He is um, he is checking something. Okay, good. I was making sure I didn't miss something. No, you're good. You're good. Okay, yes. I'd be like, all right, turn around, Don Grave. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I'll remember. <laughs> hey, whoa. Uh, where'd you go? I'm right here. Right, right. That's... Is, did you put up a mirror or something? No. Scooch to the side a little bit. Huh. That's cool. Like 
Yeah. Yeah, you look almost exactly like me. Are you are you the same height, or are you just like a little taller? I'm I'm a little taller. I can only shrink so much due to the form. Yeah, but... I'm a pretty short guy, but yeah, you got yeah, the right. got the everything else looks looks pretty spot on. Yeah. Uh, so, this this feels like a fun prank to pull on everybody. A hundred percent. Although, if they know us well, you know, it's kind of easy to send a smaller one as you. Are you able to... Do, does your voice also change, or...? Uh, no. <laughs> so you just you just look like me, sound like Avatar? Yeah. I can Perfect. attempt to sound like Don Grave. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't asking you for to try, I was just curious. Put my voice a little higher. <laughs> oh, buddy, you are. Oh, you're you're getting there. You're getting there. Keep trying. I'm not, I'm I'm not great. Maybe one day I'll have a spell or something for that. Yeah, yeah. But at the moment, it's still cool. If we don't talk, it works. If you don't talk, what are you, my high school girlfriend? Oh, oh God. <laughs> That's neat, though. I got. I. I. I uh... With my conversation with Anubis, I picked up the cool food spell, and I thought I would be a little more pro proactive, reactive, yeah. a little more, a little more concerned about healing everybody, and now hopefully mm, yeah. I can hit a bunch of you at the same time instead of one or two after the battle that's or during cool. the battle. That's cool. That's perfect. Yeah, I thought it'd be beneficial. Yeah. This is something fun, I guess. This is the only thing I could really think of. Um, I'll set, we'll just have to keep an eye on how, what we're doing in the battle. I don't know. I'm sure we can figure out something. Possibly, cool. yeah. I can also do this with other people as well. So it's not just you. Oh, nice. Like, nice. I, I, kind of, I kind of assumed that was the case, but. Yeah. <clears throat> cool. So how long does that last? Oh, an hour, roughly, I think. Oh, I haven't really tested it much. Neat. Yeah. Well. Also, if if you look really closely, you could probably tell it's not perfect. You could tell I'm not you. Yeah, I'm like ten feet away. It, you know, I feel like I'm standing across from a mirror, but I imagine if I got real close, I could find some some imperfections. Then. Oh, there's probably multiple. So, and I'll just I'll I'll drop the farm cath. I'll go back to Avedon. Sure. <sighs> I'll get that right on that. <laughs> Why did you just like drag it to the side? <laughs> it's fine. I was, I was exaggerating. Yeah, we're just gonna is he, is he having trouble changing out. back? So no, no, it's fine. I got it. <laughs> yeah, it permanently has all our characters slotted in the side. So she knows <laughs> just in case. I was be like, do you remember that one NPC from like session two? I want to be that guy. <laughs> I will never remember that. <laughs> No, yeah. It's like session two, here you go. Boop. <laughs> this wasn't the man, no. <laughs> this wasn't the guy. It is mm -hmm. now. It is now. He's had rough times. It's been a while. Yeah, I mean, I've learned a few things, which is quite nice, honestly. But, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's a good mm -hmm. list. Sorry. It's good, it's good, good, good. I wonder if the other guys picked up any cool new tricks after yeah, Tower, possibly, Tower yeah. of Paddle Battle. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool to see if they did. I guess we're first watch tonight, though, so it's not like we're going to wake them up and have mm -hmm. you know long conversations with them or something. You could. I mean, you're right. I could. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, it's getting near the end of your guys' shift. You have been messing around a little bit, so go ahead and give me perceptions. Oh, hey, Don Grave, hold on. Um, Holding. I think you look pretty good today. Just so you know, just so you wear your outfit. I think I think I try to mimic it well. So you know, understanding the physique you put on, pretty good. He's hitting uh, on Johnny. And I'm I trying will, to figure I, out what's going on. <laughs> I will give you bardic inspiration. Oh. <laughs> Shit! What, is, what does bardic inspiration do? Uh, you add one d six to this roll. Oh, to the perception check? Okay, cool. If you'd like to, yeah. Well, it, it's for 10 minutes. You get added to any ability check, attack, roll, or saving throw. And this can be added after seeing the roll, but before knowing the outcome. So, basically, you could roll, roll it on anything during, like, a 10-minute period of time. But since this is one roll we're doing, you could do it on that. Ah, oh, damn it, you rolled. I was going to get uh, guidance on each other. Right. It would have mattered, I guess. No, it would not have mattered for me, homie. I've rolled two twice in a row. 
Okay, you said I get buddy. plus a, a flat oh, number to it? No, 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 uh, a d6. Add a d6 to it. 1d6 added. 15 for my perception. Yeah. All right. Uh, while you guys are chilling, nothing crazy happens during your shift. Still kind of quiet. Nothing, uh, nothing, nothing's really going on. Still super quiet. So you're good. Your shift ends without any issues. It is time for bed. Please go to bed. All right. Who's on second watch again? Uh, I think it's Kalua and Isaac. Yes. Probably. And I'm, I'm gonna step around at least. Ah. Yeah, why is everyone sleeping right inside the door? That's, that, so that's what I'm that's saying. That's because I had to manually put them in the tent and they didn't move themselves. That's fair. I'll you like. Could just drag us a little further. Yeah. I'll go over to Kasula. Wow. If you don't want to be right at the front door, move yourself. I'm not the one in control of those characters. <laughs> Isaac is totally standing sleeping near the front door. Right there at the front door. <laughs> I go over to Kasula and I'll be like, Kasula, hey. Yes. Kisula, yes. It's, it, it's your turn for what? Okay. okay. I'm going to tap Isaac's arm. Tap Isaac. Uh, uh, wake up. Uh, wake up. Your turn. Uh, I'm going I'm going to sleep. Guy. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Have fun. Right. Bye. 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 I can't. Something. What's wrong? What happened? Oh, I just can't move anywhere. I'm going to refresh the screen. I'm sleeping anyway. Uh oh. I usually move with WASD, but. That is fair. I use the arrow way. keys. Well, good evening again, Isaac. Hello. I'm feeling a little more rested today. We did a lot of walking yesterday, though. We did. Huh. <sighs> So what do you want us to do when we get to this person's house? Do you want to just look at it and leave, or what? Mm. Honestly, not enough information. Ah. Fair. Too many, too many different variables. Not enough info on how we should proceed with it. I mean, you've had to make stuff on the fly before, right? Yeah, but I don't make a habit of it. That's a good way to end up with your ass handed to you. Fair. Fair. Preparation is the number one way of staying alive. Fair. For all we know, we could have rambled around to everybody that we didn't know existed. Maybe there was a village a couple miles out. We have been gone for a while. Have been gone for a while, yeah. Could be walking into an ambush. Could have people looking for us. Hell, the dude might not even know his mom's dead. She might not even be dead. It's fair. We're, I know I know. At least there's at least an 80% chance we're going to look like weirdos walking in up this. And this is just bad and bad. Like uh -huh. Personally, personally, unless he sees us, I would look at it and go okay. if there if he sees us the situation has just gone to shit and the best thing we can do is just hand it off to you to try to smooth it over because mm. there is no there is no way that we're going to be able to talk our way out of this I mean most of us on our party are super socially awkward <laughs> yeah we are. I mean, I'm not. I'm pretty good. But yeah, you know. I'm more, of a, I'm more of a hitting and making people scared kind of. That, you know, that's what I was taught. Mm hmm. It's mm, fair. Uh. <clears throat> I mean. I'm sure it'll be fine, whatever we decide to do, so. I, uh, I, I at least need to see the location, and then, you know, other than that, I think we're pretty good. Works for me. <sighs> All right, well, I'm going to, like, you know... Stare into the fire tiredly until our shift is over. 
Well, you don't want to. You don't want to have part of my tentilating conversation. Can we can talk. Some chess. Sure. Uh, you guys I actually spend. Bought his dragon chess set. Oh, nice! You guys spend the next little bit, obviously paying attention, but playing a little bit as well. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and give me perception checks. Nice. Um, while you guys are playing chess and stuff, um, you don't really notice anything around you. Um, you do think you may have heard something for a moment, but it faded pretty quickly, so it could have just been like a tree cracking or something in the distance. Uh, but other than that, you're good to go. And uh, you and Kasula play the game back and forth. She wins a lot, you know. Mm-hmm. You seem to win one or two times. Maybe she let you, maybe she didn't. You know, you, you don't know. But that is, uh, you're good to go. <laughs> Do, doing my thing. Doing your thing. All right. Next shift. The third? Third shift. And it's me. And Elise again? Yes. Oh, okay. You guys alive? Yep. Did my arrow traps go off? I checked them as I go out. They did not go off, no. Kasula, you look broody. Broody? Why, yeah. am, why am I the hell of a way to start the day? What do you say I'm broody? Just staring into the fire. I mean, I'm tired. I'm taking the middle shift. Yeah, I hate the middle shift. Yeah. I'll go sleep. Good night. Have a good night. Elise will come out and take her space. Isaac, do you want me to move you? Please, please. Mm-mm-mm. I'll move myself. There we go. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. All right, Red and Elise, you are third shift. You are well rested. You are the only ones who got the full night's rest so far. Good job. I'm proud right. of you. Good morning. Uh, I worked really hard for this. For what? You said you're proud of me. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Making it awkward. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, you I haven't done that it. thing you normally do a lot. Which one? The one where you like go out and like check around the camp in a while. Yeah. Um. So that's why I put my arrow traps up for the first bit. Yeah. If I'm an earlier watch, I don't. Mm. And I let the arrow traps take it while I'm sleeping. But I since see. we're towards the end and things are starting to wake up, I'm going. I was actually planning on doing that. Ah, okay. Well, if you want to go, you know, do your thing. I will chill here. No worries at all. No worries at all. Man, I don't like leaving you by yourself, though. I'm um, fine. You do your thing. Honest. Totally good. Okay, well, I can still do do this and go do what I'm going to do. So I'm going to summon Woodsy. Yay, Woodsy! Okay. You have summoned a Woodsy. I am grabbing the token. Un momento, por favor. Where is your burb? The burb. There's burb. There you go. There we go. Burb. Burb. All right. Protect her. Do whatever she says. Who? Keep her safe. Who? Elise. Who? Elise. Who? Who? How do you not know what Lindsay's just saying? I I I know. I, I'm I'm going along with the joke. I'm, all right. I'm gonna go do my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to believe that Red was just like arguing with what's he got. I know. I'm going along with a joke. I'm, I'm good at my thing. <laughs> it's just the least you, standing there watching him argue with an owl. You see the owl like feathers fluff up and then back down because it's laughing. 
<laughs> Alright. Red, you're gonna go yes. check around the area for stuff and things. Yes, I am. Go ahead and give me uh, a good old, you know, perception slash search check, whatever you want to do. Nice. Alright. Red. This is very important. Are you paying attention? Yes. Okay. As you are traveling and walking like around, how far away from your camp do you get? Mm. Like you have four hours if you wanted to go right at the start. But like. So I travel in enough time because I know my uh, my summon lasts for an hour. Uh huh. I want to travel far enough away that I can get back towards the end of the summon. So like 30 minutes up to 30 minutes away. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so you are doing the travel thing, um, getting up to 30 minutes away. It's good. It's good. Um, you notice that in like slightly to like the west of the direction that the house is that you all are traveling to, um, you do actually see the ruins of a building. Do you wish to go to that building without your friends? Or wait for them, or go back and get them and bring them back in the morning. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go check it out. <laughs> okay. I would wish to do so stealthily, please. Sure. Twenty-two. Hang on. Is he about to get another girlfriend? Hang on. So help me. All right, up on the top of your screen, you'll see a new tab that only you can currently access called Ruins <laughs> in the Snow. Should we test that or no? You guys can't see anything in that scene. Only Red can see the scene. Okay. Red, as you're getting closer, you see a dilapidated building in front of you. It has at least two stories. Um, everything around it is kind of cracked and broken, uh, from what you can tell, anyway. Um, there is a front door that you could go in, um, but this house is kind of, like, been crushed under the weight of the snow and everything. Okay, um... Do I see any tracks of any kind? Give me a perception check. See if anything's been here recently. Right. Oh. Oh, man. Uh, you don't see anything. Uh, there is nothing here as far as tracks. It's, it's probably I've been here for a while. All right. I mean, there's your tracks. You definitely see yeah. your tracks, you know. But it is snowing. So, you know, this it might be covering up any kind of tracks you may have accidentally stumbled across. Yeah, um, so still stealthing. I just want to, like, do a scope, like, peek in through any broken windows, see if I can see anything in the inside. Sure, sure, sure. So you're, you're peeking in, you're looking around, you're looking at the stuff and the things, and you you know, you're looking at all the stuff. Uh, oh, a big place. It is. It is a very large building. I, yes. I was. I was zoomed in quite a bit. I only saw like <laughs> up to here. Yeah, yeah. And I just zoomed. Oh wow. Okay. Well, I'm gonna stealth around. Ah. Uh, is that an ah to stop or ah as I understand? No. It. It was an ah. My camera angle got ganked to the side while you were walking. <laughs> um. I mean, from what you can tell, this is a very, very large building. You go around to the back side. It looks like there might have been a pen or something. There is a back door over here for you to kind of go in if you wanted to, or like like a hole in the wall over here. Um, it it yeah, does kind of look like there's blood here, though. Okay. Um, so how tall is this fence in front of me? It's not very tall. You can go over it if you want. I want to. Oh, well, I want to go over it because I don't want to risk the, the creaking of the gate opening. 
like, yeah, I'm, I'm avoiding that. Sure, you can go around. Okay, so. So you, like, put your foot and all of your weight on top of the fence, right? Yeah. <laughs> do, do I think it can hold my weight before I do that? Um, I'm so, a large lad. So you put, like, a little bit of your weight on it, and you hear it go, and you're like, I don't know about uh, that. Well open the door then. <laughs> so the door. you open the door, and it's actually it swings pretty easily. Um, it it hasn't had time to like rust or anything. It is a little cold, so you like as you open it, you, you like crack some ice off of it. But other than that, it doesn't squeak. All right, I'm gonna circle around to this. Oh, what the hell? That is a tree. Did you do that? No. Oh, I was moving and suddenly the, the camera went straight to my character like something happened. <laughs> Still staying stealthy, wanna... Is that blood? I mean, it, it looks like a reddish tint on the white snow. Can I tell how fresh it is? No. Because as it's cold outside, it, it probably froze instantly, whatever it is. Fair. I'm going to step in. Uh, as you cross the barrier. Oh, there's the pause button. You Your hear. Your girlfriend update for good old Red. You hear a movement further in. Uh, you've only gotten like a step inside, but obviously like the walls and everything around you kind of block the sound from outside. You do hear movement further in. Do you wish to continue going forward? Yes. Or do you want to go back and get your friends? I just want to see what's going on. Okay. This guy really wants his character with the J name. At this point, I'm going <laughs> to snatch back to the other clearing. It has been quite a while since Elise has seen red. Uh, and she is starting to become concerned. So. Um, red, don't move. I'm going to unpause it so the other characters can move. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hey, Isaac. Elise is gonna like. I know you're. You haven't gotten your full rest with Isaac. Uh, yeah. What's hey. Up? So Red. Uh, he went off to go search the forest like an hour ago, and he hasn't Son come of a back bitch. yet. Hold on. I said. I know what I you said. Up, an hour. Grabs his pillow. Eat. And who does he see first over there sleeping? Everyone is in the tent. Like, I mean, like, directly across from him. I, mean, I guess Don Grave, or... Yeah, he just launches his, la launches his pillow. You know, I, I see Abaddon, so I'm just going to launch my pillow at Abaddon. Abaddon, you are hit with a gentle pillow. Hard. <laughs> a little hard. <laughs> Abaddon! A Abaddon? Are you muted? Uh, I'm muted, muted, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, mm, but, ow. Red's been missing again. Oh, really? Yeah. Donnie! Yes, hello? Come on, Red's went missing. How long until we've had our full rest, Kath? It'll be like two more hours. Ah! <laughs> now he's upset. No, see, I told, I told Kath, like, I'm... Not, I'm going to try and get back by the time my spell ends. I You're know, the one like, that went into the creepy house. Or... Yeah, but that doesn't mean I stopped keeping track mm -hmm. of that. <sighs> I know just, what I like, trapped in there now. All right, good. <laughs> uh, oh, we got to go get red. Let's go find him. Um... Why does he keep doing this? It's worse than Amazon sometimes. Time. Listen, I'm... I feel like I'm better at this point. He's really got to find new ways to date people. Dang. What? All right, all right. So here's what here's what I here's what I say we do. All right. 
I'm going to cast Guidance on Abaddon. Mm-hmm. If you were willing, Abaddon, maybe you can fly up and try and perceive for some tracks Red might have left in the snow. So we have like a direction. I swear if you go missing do that, off to some witch's house, I will take your wings. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot about the witches doing this. I'll be honest with you guys. <laughs> I completely forgot about the witches during the mm-hmm. Just red stop. I'm in danger. <laughs> I will go out and I will start. Flying. I'm glad somebody remembered the witches. Uh, oh, <laughs> I was sleeping, dude. Sorry, as soon as as soon as Cass said, I want you to pay attention to this, I started listening for numbers she's gonna say. She just did the numbers, bitch. She's not gonna do it again that soon. I I, I am an idiot. <laughs> All right. Oh no! All right, I I will I will perceive with guidance. I swear to goodness, dice. Yes, let's I've go. Coded. Let's go. Okay. Twenty two. Nice. All right. So as you are as you are kind of like uh, uh uh you know st- tracking the stuff around the place and things, you do see a ruined building. Uh, a little ways out. It's about 30 minutes straight out. And, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, you see uh, that there are some tracks pretty much all the way around the building, and they stop at the back. Okay. Do I... Uh, I yeah, I, I will... I guess I'll fly to it. What you see up there, Abaddon? <laughs> There's a building far out that that direction. I don't know which way is that. D- does it look like somewhere red might have gone? I'll throw like a dancing light forward in the direction so that they know which way to go. go. That way, at least. All right, let's follow the dancing light before and everyone then, leaves us. And then I'll start <laughs> flying that way. All right, just All right you see him around. flying in a certain direction. All right, Isaac will make sure Kasula and Elise come with him. I see you trying to split us up again, Cass. I wasn't was actually do. trying to split you up. That was not my You intention. chose the wrong person for that adventure then. <laughs> <laughs> Cass, do I recognize this area at all? Yes. This is kind of close to that area where you saw your friends in oh, the no. woods. Just saying. Uh, yes. Is the quartz. Red speed dating witches now? No. Stop trying to make me date everything. <laughs> Stop dating everything. Stop dating everything. Oh, no. I, I haven't. You're fine. Don't worry about I it. I swear if we find some witch petting his head, he's never living this down. Um, so. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Bunny. Mm-hmm. Would you like to get to the location first? Yes. I would be speeding that way. Okay. You will obviously get there much faster than any of your companions. Mm-hmm. Just so you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise, uh, oops, 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 oops. Just going to gank all the party members there and copy and I'm going to paste. Bam. You're outside of the world. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to red now. All right, red. Red, buddy. Uh, Don't buddy me right now. Uh, (laughs) so when you walked into the house, um, you feel a chill kind of like run down your spine. The inside of the house seems to actually be colder than the outside of the house. Which is kind of strange, you know. Um, so as, as you're, as you're moving a little further in and further in, um, it's, uh, it's, it's really cold in here right now. Uh, the movement you're hearing is coming from a little ways, like to the West, like Southwest of you. Okay. Uh, hold on. I know, I know you're paused. Give me one, one second. 
Just one second there. Just a, just a moment. Just give me just a quick tick. I need to update my token real quick. Hang on. Just a second. Sure, world hunger. Tell nobody. Hmm. There we are. Six o'clock and jazzercise. <laughs> nice. Five o'clock. Wallow and Chef Loading. Cannot forget that again. I love that movie. Okay, I gotta watch that again. It's so good. It's so have, you, good. have you seen the TikTok thing where now parents are like dressing up as the Grinch, running in and just ramsacking their <laughs> own houses in front of the kids, and the kids are losing their mind? That's, <laughs> like, ah, that's trauma. <laughs> that's funny. That's that is really funny, actually. Uh, but no. Okay. So red. Um, as you're moving forward, you are currently on a bunch of crushed like wood and planks it looks like something like broke its way through the house in this particular area um as you're in a little bit more you do see what might be like a door over this way um or you can follow the crushed bits this way to kind of like lead yourself further into the house what direction would you like to go um okay so it said it felt colder inside the house correct if I take a step out, does it feel warmer out here? I mean, relatively. Yeah, relatively, but like, it is a noticeable difference is what I'm saying. That is correct, sir. All right, I'm going to run my hands into the ground and primeval awareness for undead and giants. Let me check. You do not notice any undead or giants. A herd movement, I'm going to continue stealthing around and I want to get out to this way. If I can, can I fit? Uh, there is a wall here. Okay, I didn't know if that was a wall or just something broken down over here. That is a wall. Then I will go around. Uh, as you kind of move this way, you see a little bit better into the crushed portion of the house here. Um, you see it kind of like it. it now that you're from this angle, it looks like something definitely, like, from top to bottom just ransacked its way through as a giant size, mind you. Yeah, I was just, just destroy saying, everything. Does this doesn't look, like, look like giant's work. It does, yes. Something of a large size did rush through this portion of the home. All right. Taking careful to be quiet around this area, I'm going to try stepping over things and get down here. Okay. Give me uh, a stealth roll as you are walking over the stuff and things. 14. <clears throat> Hold on. Mm. You hear something in the house. Stop moving. And it is eerily <coughs> quiet now. Minus Abaddon coughing. That was me. Oh, oh Abaddon, sorry. <laughs> Abaddon sick, so I figured it was him. <laughs> huh? Nothing, you're fine. Sorry. So you may or may not have alerted something in the house to your presence. I'm going to assume that I did. And head south. Okie dokie. Uh, as you kind of come around the south side, you see a bird. You did turn into a bird, right, Abaddon? Nope. No, you just flew. You see Abaddon kind of sit on the ground and directly in front of the house, looking at it, not at you. Uh, and he's kind of like, yeah. Uh, and he's just, he's just, he's sitting there staring at the house now with his arms crossed. He hasn't seemed to notice you yet. The other people aren't there yet. I just have them here so they could also be in the scene. So I'm just going to continue stealthing. Evan, give me a perception. Oh, good. You're going to be versus red stealth. Shit. You see red sneaking around the corner. Is he doing the sneaky motion? Do, do I see Abaddon take notice of me? Abaddon, are you noticing him? 
Are you letting him notice that you've noticed him, or are I'm you giving him like a side eye? Yeah, he's giving you a side eye. I, I mean, can you my... see that in the dark? Yes. It's okay. red. That's fair. That's true. I'll like, I just... I'll like put my hand up to my mouth. Yeah, I'm I will. Also doing I will finger, finger to the mouth. I will. I will cast message to red. Oh. Okay. Um, and I will, um, I will whisper into my, um, like little, like, orb thing I have, my spell focus, and be like, Red, why did you leave? Oh, so you can reply to this message. <laughs> uh, just kind of looking and puzzled. I was checking for threats. By the way, there's something walking inside this broken house. I think it knows that I'm here. I will cast message again. <laughs> I will whisper, but I'm just going to say normally. I don't want to whisper anymore. <laughs> but, I, but, but this is whispering. I got tone. you. I got you. Um, yeah, this is the witch's house, I'm pretty sure. Congratulations on that. You can reply to this message. <laughs> get, let's get the fuck out of here then. And I start stealthing away. <laughs> uh, as you start stealthing away, you see the rest of your party rushing towards the location. Oh, hold on. Do any of them notice me? Everyone else roll perceptions because Red is sneaking. He is moving at half speed. Through the snow. Up the hill. Both ways. In summer. In the summer. <laughs> uh, nobody notices Red as you guys are rushing towards the house in an Abaddon. Who's in the back? Kasula. Kasula? Okay. Kasula well, no, apparently Don Grave is. Kasula is. Kasula is. All right, so I'm just going to fall in behind Kasula and not say anything. Oh, hang on. Let me see if she noticed you. I didn't actually roll for her. Damn it. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Okay. Alright, so you're following Kasula. She yeah. seems to uh tiredly be following everyone. And she yawns. <sighs> Do we roll up on Abaddon yet? Yes. Yeah. Alright, where the hell is he? Where are you guys going? Where have you been? From behind, from behind you guys. I don't know. I thought I'd find myself a fur ball and skin him. Why? I wasn't even gone that long. Really? Because it was long enough for Elise to be worried about you to come wake me up. Or do you want to explain to Elise that you weren't gone very long? Elise, was my owl still there? No. You've been gone for an hour and a half now. What happened? I, I've been gone like 30 minutes. No, you've been gone an excessive amount of time. Did you lose time somewhere? Uh, did I time travel again? <laughs> oh God, he said time travel. No, I, like I, he, was, I was keeping track. I couldn't have been gone that long. By the way, uh, I'm pretty sure the witches live here. We should leave. I mean, I mean, they give us any shit, so we could just, you know, I think we should. Thing. I think we should just leave. Wow. <sighs> why'd you, why'd you pause, Kath? Don't worry about it. Give me a second. Am worry. <laughs> Am worry. Much anxiety. Uh, hey, Abaddon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Abaddon, buddy. Hey. Yeah. Um, hey. you can, uh, you can kind of see through the front door over there. And, uh, and, uh, you see what looks mm. to be a pile of snow moving towards the door. And, uh, huh. that pile of snow notices you and it, mm -hmm. it steps outside fuck 
Hey. Is that oh, no, um, snowmen? So. Oh, it's you mean snowing. to tell me these witches have pumpkins and two snow blocks? Everybody, roll me initiative. I could find a good way to make it. Good job. Thank you. I just want to say I love that it is snowing on here. I just realized that. I, I you know, have, I'm an idiot. Wow, that's that's like my natural twenty is pretty close, and I'm ruined for the rest of the game. <laughs> you're, you're done. Twenty one for me. Just sit down. Pretty much, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, I didn't do terrible. How do you always get a high roll? At the top? I don't know, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just that good. I don't okay, know. so red, you should be at twenty-one. It used to be the opposite. Hang on. Yes, because I rolled advantage. I need you to roll at advantage normally, so I don't have to manually change it. Yeah. D&D um, Beyond doesn't actually like it when you do it. <laughs> Don Grave did it just fine. Hit what are you talking about? the shift button, dude. Yeah, but sometimes the shift button doesn't want a shift button. Anyway. So, uh, top of the order, Abaddon. These things are lumbering towards you. Um, they do appear to be fully made out of snow. Um... It's just, it's it's like just a mass of snow with teeth in the top of it. They're with hands that kind of come down into club shapes. And they've got these short stubby legs and a big fat belly. Uh, okay. And they are looking at you and they do not look happy. Um, they are uh, like emanating cold energy. You're not taking damage from it, but they are emanating a lot of cold energy. Okay. And is anybody else next to me uh kasula's here okay i wasn't sure if they were still behind a bit or not no 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 everybody is here now yes oh hey oh hey mm. why am i still yawning i slept for like 20 hours i don't know but it's your turn what are you doing i yawn in the general direction basically you did I will, um, yeah, I will pull out me little, my, my diamond, uh -huh. and I will point blank cast chromatic orb at the, the one in front of me. Sure. Maybe I should move. That might be smart. You... Oh, I can't move, Kath. Oh, I'm sorry. You're paused. I apologize. There you go. <laughs> there, you don't really gonna... have a back to turn to, so... Yeah. I'm, I mean... Yeah. That's not going to feel great, but fine. All right, so they're going to get two attacks of opportunities on you as you move mm -hmm. out of their threat range. We do not have our 10 pin points, by the way, anymore, guys. So... Reduce that to zero. I didn't even put them on mine. All right. So. Ugh. All right, I got a one <laughs> and a two on die, so they both miss. <laughs> oh, sweet. They Slow. weren't ready for you to move yet. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> one of them just uh, wait, that's this, illegal. This one, then, I'm going to fire my chromatic orb okay. at him. Okay. Those dice are you now fire in Fire damage, of course. Yeah. Come on! Oh. Dude, I hate this stupid... I've rolled three twos today. That is a miss. That is a miss. Well, I'm going to use two sorcery points, and as a bonus action, uh, for, for it, I'm going to be like, well, I don't like your coldness anyways, and they need to make a wisdom saving throw for me for vicious mockery. <laughs> Okay. Did you multi-class on a bard? Yes. <laughs> All right. You said vicious mockery. What? What am I rolling against? A seventeen wisdom. Oh, they did not make that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a five. So you know. How much you damage? Uh, it deals five psychic damage. Five psychic damage. And uh, it has disadvantage the next attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn. Okay. That is fair. That is fair. Uh -huh. Understandable. Golem. 
I gotta add that to my spells missed count. You do. Anything else you want to <laughs> do on your turn? Uh, I will back up another five feet. Okay. All right. Red, it is your turn. You see these golems come out and they take a couple swings at Abaddon and miss. But uh, they took a couple swings at Abaddon. What would you like to do, Red? Um, he's the only one that knows you were inside the house. It's a good time to get rid of him. <laughs> What? <laughs> um, I'm gonna get to here. My movement. Nope. There's a tree in the way. Yeah, I'm gonna get to here with my movement, and then up, and this way. Can I be there? You're standing on the edge of a tree branch. I'm gonna need you to roll me a balance check if you want to stand there. Okay, then I'll go here. Okay. And I will say my prayer and light my mace on fire. Okay. And that's my turn. All right. Don Graves, sir, what would you like to do? I would like to take one step to my left. Okay. Turn and face these angry looking, they're, they're snowy boys, right? Yeah, they're like little snow golems with teeth. Little teethy snow golems. I'm going to pull out my decanter of endless water. Okay. And I'm going to say the word geyser. And I'm going to blast 30 gallons of water at these little <laughs> snow boys' feet. Okay. Maybe they'll get stuck in place. Or maybe they'll get pushed back. I don't know. I don't know. What kind of, if it, maybe if it's warm water, they'll just melt. I kind of don't want to push them towards Abaddon. I think about it. Sorry, bud. Sorry. <laughs> Dodge, Abaddon. That's okay. Uh, I mean, that's fine. I can move. So what are you doing? You're using geyser? Yeah, yeah. Here, I'll okay. Appreciate it. Uh, 18 plus 2. Well, that was awful. That is, it's I make a strength team. check. Okay. So you should hit both of them, yeah? Hopefully. Uh, long, one foot wide. I got an 18 and a 20 on my strength check, so they do not get pushed back. Can can they can they be frozen a little bit so they can't move very well? They're made of snow. Yeah, and do they melt? Do they move through the snow? They do not appear to be hindered by your water. Well, it seemed like a cool plan. Uh, I cast Spare the Dying on Kasula and then my turn. Okay. Isaac, sir, it is your turn. Okay. Just. <clears throat> All right. Excuse me. Just skip it through. Just right here. Thank you. And I would like to rage. Rage! Okay. You are raging. What else would you like to do? Well, I, since he's the closest, I'm just going to go ahead and start whooping up on him. Very good, sir. Please do your attack of whoop -a. A 28 barely hits. You got him. Go ahead and give me damage. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 15 damage. And what is, what is your attack? Uh, it is slashing. From a non-magical great axe, correct? No, from a magical. Magical. Okay. Just checking it's important sometimes. Okay. Do, do I feel that the magical is doing okay, or do I need to swap to my non-magical? Uh, the magic seems to be doing a normal amount of damage. So, no resistant. Correct. Not. All right. Well, since the first time worked so well, I'm going to go ahead and try it again. Okay. A 23 hits. And I will do the damage. Give me your damage. Nine. Okay. Got it. And that will end my turn. That will end your turn. Very good. Uh, it is Elise's turn at this point. Um, Here's the thought, Elise. What'd you say? What did you say to Elise? <laughs> Praise the sun, Elise. Oh. All right, you're too far, Abaddon. Uh, 
Isaac Dongrave in red. She's going to bless you guys. Oh, good. Yes. There you go. And that is what she is doing on her turn. She has blessed some of the party. It is now the snow golem's turn. Um, Isaac, since you attacked it, it's going to attack you. Kind of waiting for Kasula to just turn and fireball this entire building. Uh huh. Hang on. So he is going to be doing a multi attack against you. Uh, which means, yeah, the, the golem in front of you is doing a multi attack against you, so he gets three slam attacks against your face. Your mother was a snow. Ah! I dropped my dice. Ah, I win. No, you don't win. Don't take you back, I win. Uh, the first one misses. Second one, I got a 16. That misses, right? I guess that misses. And then the Your next one, I get a 22. That one hits. Cool. Cool, cool. Literally, because you're going to take cold damage as well as normal. Yes. So with your normal damage, you will be taking eight points of normal damage. What kind of normal damage? Bludgeoning. Bludgeoning? You said eight points? Eight points of bludgeoning damage. And then you will also be taking eight points of cold damage. And then this golem, this golem over here to your left, since it got hit by Abaddon, is going to go, huh, Abaddon, you get an attack of opportunity as he leaves your threat range. Yes. Do I get that at uh, Reckless also? Sure. That hits. Who said you could go anywhere? Oh, just because you hit him doesn't mean you stop him from moving. Oh, no. I just slap him on the ass with my axe. I was, I was going to say, <laughs> was that your cool thing? Did you get Sentinel? No, not yet. <laughs> that would have been neat. Abaddon, this golem comes up here, and he's like, rar, and he's going to attack you. Hey, rar. I'm back. This golem's attacking you. Okay. All right. My first one is a 20, not not natural. Do you block that? Uh, yeah, I will. So you do your schwa and you block it. Right? Yep. Okay, I got a 21 on my next one. Can you do that again? Or is that like a one-time thing? Uh, it stays up the whole round. So, so you have to... Uh, wait, it, it's a meet and beat, right? Or no? I just, I, yeah, I got a meter beat it. Yeah, so you met it at 21 then. Okay. So that hits. And then I got a nat 20 if I'm able to keep that. Are you attacking someone? I'm attacking Abaddon. You absolutely may not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but that does mean I hit you twice, Abaddon, sir. Okay. So you take bludgeoning damage. Did uh, you disadvantage on one of the rolls? He did. And that was okay. the first one that he missed on. Okay. Uh, you take... Let's see. Mm-hmm. Hang on. You take 20 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then... You take 16 points of cold damage. I think that's halved because of my ring. Yep. So take eight. There you go. Uh, and that is the golem's turn. So now it is Kasula's turn. And she's going to be like, Oh, really? And she's going to attack this one in front with a fire spell. And she's going to hit. And she's going to do a lot of damage. You get the proper amount of dice Oh, this is the first time we actually get to see Kasula fight for real. Well. And not be controlled. Kasula's going to cast, like, some fucking cleric spell or something. (laughs) <laughs> no, Kasula pulls out his sword. <laughs> no, she's been the whole time she this was entire a time. 
All right, so she, like, holds up her hand to the snow golem, and you see, like, this immense amount of fire, like, red-hot energy just emit from her hand, and she does burning hands on the creature, and it just melts in front of you and instantly dies. This one is dead. Isaac just looks at that. You don't happen to have heat metal, do you? <laughs> I need you to warm my axe up for me. And that is her turn. So now it is Abaddon's turn. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Snow golem in front of you. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do about that? Um. Things. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, like, what? Now I'm going to just point blank your chromatic orb. Okay. Sure. Yes. Okay. Okay. 27 20. hits. You son of a... And 11 does not hit. It's a disadvantage because I'm a point blank. Oh, okay. Well, then an 11 does not hit. <laughs> a fire in the mist. I'm gonna I'm gonna vicious mockery again. Okay. Cause it's fun. Be like, yeah, well your shoes are stupid, even though they're snow. It is damaging. Oh, his feelings are taking the hit. How much? Uh just a just one hundred little three. Got it. Excellent. He is he is unhappy that you insulted him. <laughs> and he My got disadvantage. Got shoes. <laughs> no. All right. Next up, uh, that is the red, red sir. Uh, this this snow golem is melted thanks to Kasula. There's one over here. What would you like to do? Um, excuse me, pardon me. Okay. I trip him as he goes by. My kill. I mean, you did just double move there. Oh, I can move a bonus action as a dash. Ah, okay. He can yeah. do all kinds of fancy things like that. All right. yeah, my entire class is dedicated to what can you do with your bonus action? There you go. All right, and I'll take a swing. Take a swing. And he got his feelings hurt, so he is damaged. He is damaged emotionally, okay. physically. <sighs> Red. I'm I'm so upset. Hold on, Kath. Let me. <laughs> Wait, you have adva- you have advantage because you're flanking, right? Oh, awesome. <laughs> I swear to God, be that once again. Oh, it's not really better. <laughs> well, At least he's not hitting Avid on this time. Hashtag bless. Oh, so there you 17 go. Hit. 17 hits. All right. Let's go. go. Look at that. Needing some God assistance up in here. <laughs> <laughs> so 11 points of damage with just the mace. Just the mace. Okay. And then uh, three points of fire damage. Excellent. Fire damage. I need him to make a constitution saving throw. <gasps> and because he's wounded, he also takes another one. Constitution. You in the ones today. I got a 21. Yeah, that definitely beats that. Um, so I'm just going to rear back and do it again, I guess. Okay. That I'll does hit. That yep. And come on, stop doing that. Nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. He is looking pretty wounded at this point. Uh, you've knocked a lot of the snow off of his body. His belly's not as jiggly as looking as it was before. What else would you like to do? You've already used your oh, bonus that, and your movement. That's my entire turn. Okay. Excellent. Don Graves, sir, it is your turn. This guy's looking weak. What do you want to do? I will turn to the snow golem over there. Mm-hmm. And I cast Sacred Flame! Sacred Flame! Excellent. You must make a deck save. Dex. It's not actually fire. Shh, don't tell her that. <laughs> uh, that I got a spell. negative on my deck, so I got a 10. <laughs> I just 13 always... points of Damn it. I always get a kick out of that, that that spell's named Sacred Flame, but it's not actually fire. 
Radiant damage often is described as a burning heat, isn't it? <laughs> uh Okay. Your sacred flame comes down, uh, and this thing is barely standing. He is he is melting at the seams from your sacred flame. Okay, I cast for the dying on Kalu again. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Isaac, sir, the golem is, is melting over there. I said, where are you think you're going? And swing. Swing. And a mist. And a bless. And you hit. All right. So you see Isaac just kind of come around you, Red, and he exclaims, where do you think you're going? And just kind of like, whoosh, and cuts it as if he was cutting a piece of cake. Just goes whoosh, right down the middle and it kind of like falls apart back into normal snow. You're now out of combat. So what you doing here, Red? I saw a house and I just wanted to see what was inside of it. Why why are you so far away from camp already though? Like I, don't... I shouldn't have been that far away. I why were, why were you gone so long? Cap, did I ever feel my spell end? You did not, but now that you're outside of the house, you don't feel the connection to Woodsy anymore. I Okay. Abbott, I'm Don Grape. I, I'm okay. Everybody here besides oh. Isaac, when you cast a spell, you have a construct and you can feel it end. I it never is. felt my spell end. Oh, that's a good one. But at least I assume at least saw your no, spell I, end. No, I trust whatever Elise says. I'm just telling you all, like, I didn't think I was gone that long, like, at all. Okay. There's something strange going on inside the house, by the way. It's, all, it's noticeably colder inside the house than it is out here. So what you're saying is you time traveled. Don't say those words to him. You know how he gets. I just uh, how far away from camp? We're like we're, we're what thirty minutes out. Yeah, you're like thirty minutes out. Took you a while to get here. That's probably about how far Red expected. So you've been, so you've been in there for about two hours. Then hold on, wait a minute. I have an idea. I have an idea. Wait right here. Just start. Start counting. One. Two. Okay, Kath, I'm going to the back of the house and I'm stepping in the back. Okay. I'm counting as well, so like whatever I get to. Sure, sure. Well, we're going to pause in. it here. Fuck. <laughs> and we'll pick up back here next week. <laughs> we're going to be counting for a while. Thank you, uh -huh. everybody, so much for hanging out with us today. The party has stumbled upon a strange house that has seems to be falling into disrepair, and they are currently playing with forces that they don't understand. And we'll continue this next Monday. Have a good night. Sounds like any other it, it session. Yeah. It's mostly red <laughs> kind of touching things we don't understand. Yeah. All right. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. Have a good night.